Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Plisson La Maison du Barbier or House of the Barber. Let's put it in some water. And the soap tonight is through the Fire Fine Craft Steel. This was a gift when I got bought my uh, North America's Best Weight Shavers Club group bowl from Maria. It had as yet to be released, but it has been released now. Her site describes it like this. Steel contains green apple, veteran, and gingerbread aromas. It's a complex cologne scent and will keep you coming back to the scent all year long. Mango butter, cherry kernel oil, and silk combined to leave you with a comfortable shave. Four ounces of soap in a low profile, six ounce jar. And it's, uh, that's, you know, the, the best way that I can describe it. Because I don't really pick out all the different... I don't pick out the vetiver and the green apple and the gingerbread and all that from it. Uh, what I get is just a really nice cologne scent. And so it's wonderful soap. Mar Maria makes uh, lovely soap. So let's go ahead and move on down. She makes a fantastic soap. It's very easy to lather and... Nice and slick. And I like the scent. The wind outside is really high. It's ripping through the trees outside and it's uh, I live in a trailer, and it's taken the roof of my trailer, the the tin roof of my trailer, and just you know bouncing it up and down really good. We're supposed to have high winds through the night and tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. I don't like it. I, like I say, I live in a trailer and we have trees around and every time, man, that smells good. Mm. Every time that uh, it starts doing the wind kind of thing like it's doing now, I, uh, I get real nervous because the last thing I need is to have a tree fall on my trailer. Yeah, my homeowner's insurance would cover it, but I don't want to put that to the test. You know, I'd rather it not happen whether I had insurance or not. It's not the point. So anyway, it makes me nervous. I love the Plisson brush you know when I first started using synthetics I kept hearing people say well then the synthetics make lather so much faster than other brushes and I thought well and I use all different kinds of brushes for the longest longest time I never noticed a difference but the longer that I use the synthetic brushes the more I make I the more it becomes apparent how very quickly they do make lather they're lovely. Now, I'd never give up my badgers. They don't make lather any better or that much faster than a good badger, but there is a distinct difference in the way that they perform. Uh, there are characteristics in each brush fiber that I like. So, But that is something that I have now. I've got about two days growth. In case anybody's interested. Uh, 
But that's a characteristic that I have noticed. This is the biggest characteristic that I like about the Plisson, especially. You see how that knot fans? I use a paintbrush stroke. This knot is soft, soft, soft. But it fans, and I mean, I could do a whole side of my face in lather just with one pass because of the way that it fans. And it's just a lovely, lovely. That's why a lot of these guys, and I've got a brush that's got a little bit lower set and a little bit more backbone and a kind of a Plissonish type knot. And it's a good knot. It's, it's really close to the Plisson. But uh, I like the Plisson just the way it comes. I don't want it deeper in the handle. I don't want more backbone. It's perfect for me, just like it comes. So I'm going to use my Maggard V3 head. And I've got it on my Vintage. Long calm new handle. Nice. Makes it just a tad head heavy. I like that. Uh, it has an Astra green blade in it with one shave on it. So This is the Astra's wonderful slickness. The Astra's second shave lovely I love the Astra SP, it's a, a blade that really works good in every DE that I own. A good three or four shaves on it per blade. Probably could get more. It's just a really good blade. Uh, this Maggard V3 head is absolutely lovely. It's a uh, It's really mild and smooth. Maggot builds it as a a medium aggression. And I tend to agree with that. It's not it's not mild like a like a vintage DE would be mild. It reminds me a lot of my old type. Gillette old type or my Hong Kong new in, in that range and maybe a little bit more. Uh, lovely razor. Uh, it, uh, I have another video out that's a quick look at it where I show you the head and the finish and talk a bit about it. I'll try to link to that if I can remember in the description section bottom of this video but uh, it's just a really really nice head for seven bucks man I mean I would think they want two or three times that for what I got and uh, it's just a fantastic shaver Uh, it doesn't, you know, all these, and I'm not knocking them. I'm not 
talking bad about them. And, but there's a lot of razors out there in the $20, $30 range that uh, have blade alignment issues you have to. And the Magnus V1 head was like that. You had to make sure that the blade was aligned as you tighten the head down or it would be in there crooked or heavier to one side or the other. Maggard address that. In this version of their head, and there's not any kind of play or alignment issues with the blade. Whatsoever. Got myself the uh, blade didn't go just that way, it moved. It's going to take it a bit to show up. That's just my way I am. I cut myself and it'll take a bit before it starts to bleed. But I'm pretty sure it eventually will. If not, then my pressure was light enough that the, the blade didn't cut me very deeply. But uh, it's a lovely razor. And if you are looking for a DE89-ish clone, or R89, which basically the same thing anyway. Uh, I know that there are a few of them out there. This is one of them. And if you'd like if you've got two or three handles or an extra handle that doesn't really that's made to go with different DEs and it didn't really come on another DE or whatever. And you just want an extra head to play around with and, and shave with. And I must not have got myself as bad as I thought because I'm not bleeding. I should be by now. Uh, this is a fantastic head. Uh, just absolutely wonderful. Whereas I can't say enough about the head of this on this handle here this that maggard head is just v3 is a wonderful wonderful razor i'm really really stoked to make it a part of my den i'm going to get another one just to have a spare in case something happened to that because they're cheap enough i can do that and they're fantastic quality so and if you look at the in the link below to the uh, other video of mine where I oh man that's good where I talk a bit more about it you'll see what I'm saying because you'll get an up close look at that blade or at that razor head. And you can judge for yourself. But we use Stetson Cooling Moisture there to finish off the shave. Absolutely lovely. Wonderful, close, clean shave. Yeah, you can see like right here there's a little nick. But it's, there's no bleeding or anything like that. So 
that's a testament to the mildness and efficiency of this razor that I could do two or three days worth of growth with one of these razors and two passes get a wonderfully close smooth shave uh, and even make a mistake in technique and the razor be safe for me. So God bless you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Later.